Imagine this, a visitor arrives at a farmer's house, only to find the farmer is not home. The sun is high in the sky casting long shadows that dance on the dusty path. The farmer's wife, a picture of cordiality, greets the unexpected guest, her voice gently breaking the afternoon silence. She tells the guest that the farmer is tending to his fields, but assures him that he will be back soon. The house, full of warmth and rustic charm, is quiet, save for the distant sound of a dog barking in the fields. As the guest waits, he takes in the peaceful scene around him, the tranquility only broken by the sudden arrival of the farmer. With him, his loyal dog, panting heavily, its tail wagging in a rhythm of its own. As the guest waits, the farmer returns home, his loyal dog panting heavily at his side. Opening. The guest, curious, questions the farmer about his dog's exhaustion. As the farmer, fresh from his work in the field, settles into the comfort of his home, the visiting acquaintance poses a question. Why is your dog so worn out? He asks, his eyes darting between the farmer's relaxed demeanor and the dog's panting form. The farmer, donning a knowing smile, responds, The answer is quite simple, my friend. You see, my field is but a stone's throw away. As the guest raises an eyebrow in intrigue, the farmer continues, My dog and I, we tread the same path home, yet he is drained, and I am not. The reason? I walk a straight line, focused on my destination. My dog, however, gives in to every distraction. Each time he spots another dog, he chases after it, barking, only to return to my side, and then the cycle repeats. Closing. The dog's distraction and exhaustion contrast starkly with the farmer's focused, calm demeanor. With a knowing smile, the farmer shares a piece of wisdom with his guest. He begins, You see, my friend, my dog and I may have traveled the same path, but our journeys were vastly different. While I focused on returning home, my dog was distracted by every other dog he encountered. He'd run off, barking and chasing, only to return to my side, out of breath and tired. Then, he'd spot another dog, and the cycle would continue. That's why he's exhausted, and I am not. Pausing for a moment, the farmer continues his tale. In many ways, this is a reflection of our own lives. The path to our goals isn't necessarily long or arduous. It's the distractions along the way that make it seem so. They pull us from our path, leading us on wild chases that leave us gasping for breath and far from our destination. The trouble is, the farmer adds, these distractions are often negative influences. People who don't have our best interests at heart, who lead us astray for their own purposes, they divert us from our path, causing us to lose sight of our goals. This deviation, this constant veering off course, is what exhausts us. His voice steady and calm, the farmer drives his point home. The key is to keep your eyes on your goal. Ignore the distractions, the negative people who try to lead you astray. Stay true to your path, keep moving forward, and you'll reach your destination. Your energy is precious. Don't waste it on meaningless detours. Finishing his story, the farmer turns to his guest, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. So, my friend, he asks, what will it be? Will you live like my dog, constantly distracted by every passing whim? Or will you live like me, the farmer, focused and goal-oriented, undeterred by distractions? He leaves his guest with a thought-provoking question. Do you want to live like the dog, constantly distracted, or like the farmer, focused and goal-oriented? The farmer's words resonate, offering a clear lesson about distractions and focus. In the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives, we often find ourselves chasing after things that don't really matter, just like the farmer's dog. We run after fleeting moments, frivolous distractions, and unimportant tasks, and as a result, we find ourselves gasping for breath, overwhelmed and exhausted. The story of the farmer and his dog paints a vivid picture of this common pitfall. The farmer, calm and composed after his journey, embodies the power of focus and goal orientation. He walked a straight path, keeping his gaze fixed on his destination, and arrived at home with his energy intact. His dog, on the other hand, allowed every other dog to distract him, chasing after them only to return, tired and breathless. The lesson here is simple yet profound. In our journey towards our goals, there will always be distractions. There will be obstacles, naysayers and hurdles that will try to sway us off our path. But just like the farmer, we must stay focused, ignore the distractions and keep moving forward. By doing so, we can serve our energy for the things that truly matter, for the tasks that take us closer to our goals. This story also reminds us that success is not about the speed with which we reach our destination, but rather the consistency and determination with which we pursue our path.
The farmer didn't rush. He didn't run after every dog he saw. He walked at his own pace, but he kept moving. His journey was not a sprint. It was a steady, determined march towards his goal. Remember, the choice is yours. To be the focused farmer or the distracted dog. Choose wisely. Every moment, every choice, every step you take can either bring you closer to your goal or take you further away. So the next time you find yourself being pulled in different directions, remember the farmer and his dog. Let their story guide you. Choose focus over distraction. Choose purpose over aimlessness. Choose energy conservation over energy waste. Choose your destination over the distractions along the way. Choose wisely. What's your next step towards greatness? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.